Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we are going to be starting a brand new series. This is going to be a huge series, probably the largest series we've ever done. It is known as Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic, aka Logic 301. Now, this is just going to be a quick series intro. Later today, we're going to be putting up another video, and then we're going to be going for the whole month of October, a video every single day on set theory. So, welcome to the third giant daily logic series from Carnadies.org. Previously, we did a series on the basics of logic. That was called the 100 Days of Logic. Then we did a series on modal logics, three months of modal logics. When we asked viewers what they wanted to see next, the answer was set theory and higher order logic. You don't need to have watched the modal logic series to understand this series. This series is not really going to build on anything in modal logic. We're not using modal logic much of at all. But a basic understanding of symbolic logic is going to be expected. It's an understanding that you can get from watching the 100 Days of Logic or from taking an Introduction to Logic course at most major universities. As with previous logic series, a short new video is going to come out every day explaining a new concept in set theory. Unlike previous series, though, the six months aren't going to be right after one another. I can't make that many videos, and you'd probably get tired of it. What's going to happen is we're going to put one month out in October, this month. And then the second month is going to come out in the February of next year. And then future months will come out in later months, maybe October of next year, depending on how much time I have to make these videos, because these series take a lot of time and work. There's going to be six months worth of videos in all, because there's a lot to cover within set theory and higher order logic. Some videos may cover concepts that have been touched on in other series, such as zermelo frankel set theory or piano arithmetic, but this series is going to provide greater depth for them, and it's going to hopefully provide them at a pace that even people that don't have a background in some of these things can start at the beginning of the series and go straight to the end without having to use other resources or look things up, okay? The first month is going to cover the absolute basics of set theory, specifically the properties of sets. And the first four axioms of a basic universe. We're looking specifically at set class theory, though a lot of things are going to apply across. The second month is going to build on these basics, looking at the operations and relations of sets, as well as axioms five and six of a basic universe. Those first two months are the solid kind of grounding in what are we talking about when we're talking about set theory. The third month is going to move on to piano arithmetic, as I said, we've done a previous video on that, but this is going to kind of space it out, make it a lot easier and more digestible for people that had trouble with that video. And it's going to put it in the context of set theory and how piano arithmetic can't just doesn't need necessarily to be formulated in terms of numbers. It can be formulated in terms of set theory. As well as axiom seven, the axiom of infinity. In the second half of the series, months four through six, we're going to look at the axiom of choice, higher order logic, and the interactions between set theory and higher order logic. But I don't want to nail those down right now, just in case by the time we get through three months, people are requesting different things, requesting we go in a different direction. <clears throat> Specifically, in this series, we're going to be looking at Newman bernays girdle set theory, known as NBG, which is an extension of zermelo frankel set theory. Okay? Don't worry if none of that part made sense yet, or none of the things in this made sense. The point is for you to get the context to understand what we're going to be doing in this series. If you've had a little bit of set theory before, the, some of these pieces may make sense, though. So, up next, we're going to be looking at what is set theory and starting at the absolute basics. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for the whole month of October. Stay skeptical, everybody.